So I have this panel. Well, it's a piece of heavy paper. It has white encaustic on it. It's a little on the cold side. It's been in the air conditioning. So let's turn that on a bit. Let's heat it up. And um, I'm really into brights lately. It's summer here in South Florida, you know? So I think we're gonna do like Lily Pulitzer with a little petal blue in. We want something happy. So, um, let's see. As I, my, my dial is off, so that's okay. So, right now I'm working on dots. Not, a, not exactly a circle, but it's okay. I don't, I don't want them to be perfect circles. What fun would that be? Off to the side, I have paper towel so I can wipe. It's actually a little too hot. So, I don't know, I had a really bad day at work. I still like when, you know, some of my clients cancel within 10 minutes of their appointment and they don't realize that that's my income. And I never ever in all the years charge somebody, but today because of COVID and I can only take maybe three clients a day, I did because as the client is texting me, she forgets that we're friends on Facebook and she's telling me she's She's in the emergency room, but not on Facebook, she's not. I mean, come on ladies, you know, emergencies happen. Just say, hey, something came up, tell that later. I really apologize. I, I just, whatever. So give me time to go get some lunch and get to the studio an hour earlier. But you know, some of my clients have been me 10 or 12 years. And one client today called me to let me know that she wasn't coming in for a while because her office is getting back to stay at home because four people have tested positive with COVID. It's very scary. She called to let me know that um, she had been in to see me like three and a half weeks ago. So she's fine and blah, 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 but you know. But I can't, I can't be painting on my encaustic when I'm worrying about my day. So that's actually not so pretty. So let's see if we can make this a little prettier. So sometimes what I really love about the iron, I don't know if you could see, I don't know if I can zoom in. I'm on my iPhone taping, but right now I'm flattening out these guys. But we need something right here. So what color should it be? Let's, well, I could, let's do the purple. Yeah, let's do this color. Get some aqua. I'm not a purple person. Purple is my least favorite color. And you know what? My husband is a Northwestern grad and we have a whole room that's purple because they're all about purple. They're purple pride. This is, I stay away from purple. So I kind of want to spread these out. So I made them a little bit on the thicker side and this, this iron is actually too hot. So let me cool it down. Let me see what I can do. The iron takes time to get used to it. I'm gonna move this paper right here. I may want to switch to a different iron. This iron's running hot. And so now, and I can scrape that back into a circle. This one, but what we're gonna, I don't know why this is so hot. Like I said, I think it's, I need a new one. The dial, the dial is off. 
me see if I actually have. Where's a thermos thermometer when I need one, right? I actually have a laser one from work. It's in my work bag. I'm too lazy to get up to get it. I'm going to. I'll be right back. This is a laser thermometer that I use at work to check people's temperature. So we're gonna check this. Oh my God, I think it's too hot. Cause this is for humans. I'm gonna check it on me. I'm 99.5. That's actually hot for me. But I can have a feeling that, let's see, let me pull it aside. Uh, it's not registering. I think it only registers on humans. Let me do my hand. My hand says a 97. So, so much, so much for that. Because like I said, that's really set up for people. All right, that, let's cool down a bit. And if you can hear my, my air is on. So I think like for this one, I may just want to smear it. Even though this is part of my circles and dots, it's okay. Sometimes things just happen. The only thing I don't like when I use the iron is I go through a lot of paper towels and I don't like to add waste to, to, to garbage, but it's okay. You just never know what's going to come out. I like that. Now I have this white in a pot melting so I can layer that back in if I like. But I lost my definition over here of my circle. So sometimes I just go like that. And I can put some back on. But it's a little too hot, but we're gonna scrape off some of that orange. Like I said, today, I just didn't have a great day at work. Um, you know, it's stressful, I'm trying to keep my, my business afloat, but not risk my health. And you rent out supplies, you gotta order supplies, and you have to order su pro, su yeah, supplies, and there's a minimum order. And a lot of the manufacturers in skincare are not reducing their minimums. So that becomes a little bit of a problem. So we'll see. I'm just going to enjoy my melt over here. You see, this is what I really like when I work with it. I don't know if you could see that, but that's the underlayer. And then I like when it gets, it's a lift. It's like lifted. You see over here, I don't, I don't really like that. So very lightly scrape. And you know, you gotta be careful sometimes because sometimes no matter what colors you mix together, you get mud. We don't we don't want mud. Let's see what this one's like. So what I do when I'm working on things like this, I still ha I have the map board too, like when it frames out, see how different it looks. So even though it looks like a big mess there, I know that this is going to frame out. So I always keep a discarded one of the mat boards. This, this is a little on the very hot side, but um, sometimes what I really like to do, and I think it's more just fun for me, is to, I like making the dots. I like how they're raised. I let them cool for a minute, and then with the iron. But like I get, this iron is really hot. I don't know, maybe it's just the day. I do need to order a new one. I thought I reset the dial into the correct place. I can hear it when it turns on it, but obviously 
I didn't do it right. Like I said, I really need to put, I'm trying to think where my, um, I'm trying to think where I have my, here, okay. I knew I had it somewhere. Thermometer. This is for, I use this on my grill pan. So let's see. It's going up. Okay, so right now, it just hit 100. Oops, so beeswax, we know what, melts at 212. But this, this is hot. And it's climbing. It's going up. We're at almost 150. I want to really be at one, a cool iron, like 160-ish. But for some reason, I think it's hotter than that. And it keeps going. And it's going. And now it's 160, 170. Okay, so this I know is hot. Like I said, I, I just knew it was hot. And I have it here. So I know the dial is really off, is not correct. So I, it's, it's really too hot for me to touch. So... I wish I knew how to, like it has like a little tick in there. Oh well, like I said, me bad of how I broke it, but I will, I will, I will figure this out. But these things are handy. I actually have a different one that I like much better that much more instant read, but that's okay. It's all good. All good. Um, when I'm painting with other things with my palette, I'm much more aware of the heat. I like to move my work around. Um, but I think, I don't know. I think we need some of, a little bit of this hit. Yeah, but it's smoking, so it's definitely for sure way too hot. Like I said, even though it says low, I think it's oh, whatever. But like I said, once again, I will do this. Maybe I'll add a dark navy to it. It has a long way to go, believe you me. There's a lot to have to go on this. So what I think I'm going to do right now is give a quick fuse. Even though there was a lot of heat on it, I just feel better with the fuse on it. I have on the side, I don't know if you can see it, I have a small grill pan and it's filled with the same color as this background, the soft white. And I'm going to cover it all up and let it cool. And I'll probably let it cool overnight. And then tomorrow I'll come back and scrape it back because it'll become like an entirely different painting um, and give me more of the effects that I'm looking for. But I'm really upset that my, I got I don't remember where I bought it. I've had it for a very long time. So we're going to cover that up because I'm doing this whole series using this light color. Then I have another series, if you watched my Instagram today, it had a bunch of really bright, very, very different. Sometimes it just depends on how I feel. You know, I was an art director for many years and it took me a really long time to find my voice as an artist simply because um, I had to do what other people wanted. And so now, I kind of like jump around or I get bored and all of a sudden it's like, ooh, I like that. But I know a lot of artists that do the same thing all the time and they're happy with it and that's their comfort zone. And then there's artists like me who sometimes will do a new series or change their medium. Um, and that's okay, it's all, it's all good. I know when I paint on paper, it looks very different than when I paint on um, panels and when I paint large. So I must have a split personality. I must have one one personality for paper and one personality 
for um for panels so we're going to give that a few soft flame i like soft flames because i don't want to move necessarily the the wax like i said there's a lot of heat on here and i'm going to put that aside so for those of you who are new to my channel, I work in encaustic wax. Encaustic is a Greek word to burn in. Um, I will be setting up videos to teach in a private group. So subscribe so that you can um, be updated with my next video. Um, and that way we could ooh, ask me questions. I can make a video. You can learn. Um, I could teach <laughs> and thank you for watching. I just had a bad day. So my personality is not really at a hundred percent today. So I will see everybody in the next video.